Hello everyone and welcome to another IT training video. This is part two of a pen tool series that I'm doing. If you missed part one, in part one I talked about anchor point and paths and that video mostly revolved about creating straight lines. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to create curved lines using the pen tool. And also we'll throw in a little convert anchor point tool and directional handles and all that good stuff. So let's get started by creating a curved path or a curved shape and just like in my first video I started with a rectangle in this video I'm gonna start off with a circle so I'm gonna click go to my shape tools I'm gonna to pick ellipse tool and then I'm gonna click and drag to create a circle if I hold down shift I can make a perfect circle and then I'm gonna let go alright now notice how this circle has four anchor points we have one here at the top Oh, I guess you can't see them with this. Okay, we have one at the top, we have one on either side, and one on the bottom. Now, as you can see, a curved path is just like a straight path. It connects two anchor points, but there is a difference. And I'm going to show you that difference right now. I'm going to have, I'm going to click on my direct selection tool. I'm going to click on an anchor. And when I click on an anchor, notice that I get these bars that come out of my anchor points. These bars are what we call directional handles. And what these directional handles do is they tell the path how to connect between two anchor points. And how they work is that every bar here is tangent to this circle. So if you know anything about mathematics or geometry, tangent means that at the anchor point, at this point right here, the slope of this line and the slope of the circle is exactly the same. So if you didn't quite get that, then don't worry about it. It's not, it's not too important. But for those mathematically minded, that's how these directional handles work. And if I use my direct selection tool, notice how I can move these handles up and down. And notice how it changes the shape of my circle. And again, at that anchor point, it's going to be tangent. So the slope at that point right there is going to follow the slope of this line. Okay, now there's also other things you can do with these, handle, these handlebars. You can also, instead of just twisting them around, you can make them bigger and longer. So let's try making this handlebar longer on one side. Notice how it stretches out my circle. And I can still move it around like this, but it stretches it out. For those of you who don't like to think of the tangent way of thinking about this, think about these handlebars as magnets. They kind of pull the shape towards it. So notice how I pull farther out, and it's going to pull farther out. If I pull, pull in, it's going to pull in. All right, and if I twist around, it's going to do the same thing. Also notice that handlebars are very specific. They have an in and they have an out. So one of them always goes in, one of them go, always goes out. So if I flip them around, notice how I'll make a loop-de-loop. -loop. So it goes in always and comes out. All right, so those are some basics of the directional handlebars and let's apply them to the pen tool now. So the pen tool, I said last time, is an anchor point creator. It creates anchor points. So what we can do is we can create anchor points like this and this is what we did last time. We just straight lines. Alright, let's delete that. <clears throat> this time, instead of just clicking my mouse to create an anchor point, I'm going to click and drag. And when I click and drag, notice how I'll start to create these directional handlebars. So let's say I want a curved path. I can just create an anchor point like that. And then on the other side, if I just click, notice how this line is only affected by one directional handle. One directional handle. If I do it again, let's do another point here. I'm going to click and drag. And this time, on my ending point, I'm also going to click and drag, and I can create another set of directional handles. In this case, I can get a much more uh, curvy line here. I can change the angle at which the line comes into this anchor point, so you can see how it curves here. I can make it less dramatic by letting it down a little more. If I let it down like perpendicular, then it looks a lot like the line that I made without the directional handles on the uh, second anchor point. All right, wrapping up here. So what happens if you want to create a shape like a heart? So we know how to create a shape like a circle, and you can see I can probably, uh, it's going to be a pretty bad circle, but here I'm going to attempt to do it. Like there. And then, of course, I'm going to close my shape. And if I just clicked on it, 
I'll get a one-handed handlebar. If I click and drag, then I'll get my second handlebar there. There we go. So what happens if I don't want a curvy shape and I want, let's say, a point, like a heart or something? There's another tool called the Convert Anchor Point tool. And if you go to your pen, under, um, underneath the same menu of the pen tool, there's a Convert Anchor Point tool here. And what the Convert Anchor Point tool will do is convert anchor points from anchor points with handlebars to anchor points without handlebars and vice versa. So, if I click on this anchor point here at the top, notice how the, anchor, the uh, handlebars go away. And if I want to bring them back, I can click and drag and the handlebars come back. There's a quick shortcut if you have the pen tool selected between the, convert, the, between the anchor point tool and the convert anchor point tool. It's the Alt button. And if you click on the Alt button, notice how you can just with your pen tool uh, change it. All right, that is a quick, 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 quick tutorial about curved paths in Illustrator, anchor points, handlebars, convert anchor point tool, and etc. cetera. Um, I, I'm thinking about making another pen tool video, but hopefully you guys will practice in between me making a new one and this one. I uh, hope you had an enjoyable time. This video is kind of running a little long, but if you want more hands-on instruction, be sure to sign up for one of our free classes at train.byu.edu. Thanks, and have a good time doing Illustrator.